Hey, it's Tanya Weeders, ECMG Creative. Hope all is well. Listen, we just cut this very short video to show you how you can take raw data from your Excel spreadsheet and send it into your uh, Outlook calendar and then share that same calendar with others wherein when they receive it, all they'll have to do is click one button and it immediately downloads into their calendar. Okay, so here goes. First, you're going to need Outlook, of course, then you're going to need Excel or any other spreadsheet software you might have where you can create a CSV file. We'll explain what that means later. And then, of course, you're going to need your data source, the information that you'll be pulling your information from all right so if we go back to Outlook we'll see here uh, this is my church calendar so this is where I need to be on any given day uh, that's required of us now you'll notice here there's an October here when I shut that off it'll show you what uh, events are pretty much in stone these are set in stone all right but each month we have different things that are going on so what I'm going to do here is delete this file because this is what we want the end product to look like. But we want to rebuild this with you so to show you exactly how this is done. Okay. Um, and it's easy once you know how to do it. And that's what we want you to do. We want you to maximize your time. Uh, and sometimes I know when I get uh, emails like this, I, I, I get a bit perturbed because I have to extract all this information and do this myself. So why don't we just show you how to do it? So you will go to open calendar and you will select create new blank calendar. Okay. And then we're going to name it just like we did before October, 2017. Enter. All right. All right. All right. So when we get to October, and we shut this off, we see that it's a blank slate. Cool. So now we bounce over to our Excel spreadsheet, which has already been pre-prepared or prepared. Uh, and what we've done here is we've extracted all the information from uh, the original email that we got, which was this. Very simple. Um, all the dates are here. All the times are here. Uh, and we just extracted all of this information and now we pummeled it down to this. This is the, pro the potent information or the important information that just happens to be powerful. So in our first row, what we're going to do is define everything uh, that we're putting under these uh, titles here. And where we're getting this information from is from Outlook. So when we go to Outlook and if we want to set a new appointment, what we see here, if it'll pop up the way I need it to, are fields that are identified as such. Subject, location, start time, end time. And then this entire section here is labeled uh, description, even though we don't see it to the naked eye. All right. So what we're going to do here is name all of these corresponding uh, rows or column headers after what we've seen there. Description all the way through uh, the start date. And then we fill in all these fields. And then once we're done with that, we'll save it as an Excel file. All right. We've already done that. And what you want to do is highlight every cell that's filled here. All right. And then we're going to define this. You'll find this under the formulas tab in Excel, I believe it's 2013, you define the name. We'll click here and I'm going to define it as October new. All right. And just okay. And the reason why we do this is because we're going to change this into a data file. But if we don't define these sections, what will happen is that data file will read every last cell, whether it's a row or a column that's on this page. And if you go to the very bottom, you can see that it's thousands upon thousands of cells. Okay, going down and across, and we don't want that. So we've already done what we need to do there. Now what we want to do is save this as a C SV file. Why? Because this is the raw data file that 
um, Outlook is going to look for in order to import. So we're going to save this to our desktop. And we've already saved this uh, prior to. So we're just going to override it. And where is it? Where is it? Oh, we have to define it here as comma delimited or comma separated values file. So we'll change it to a CSV. You see it repopulated because now it's looking for the old folder. So we will just overwrite that. We'll say yes. Once it's saved, it will go back and ask us, are we sure? Do we want to use that format? And we'll say yes. And as you can see here, it is already, um, it has already been changed to a CSV file from an Excel file. If I can get back to where I was, thank you. So now we're going to shut this down because this file needs to be closed. It'll save it again. Yes. Uh, it needs to be closed in order for us to actually have it import uh, into uh, our calendar. So here we are again at the October 27 blank calendar. What we want to do is go over to file. We're going to go to open and export and then import export. We click that. And then we're going to import from another program or file because none of these uh, have anything to do with uh, what we're doing. Okay. So here we see comma separated values. That's the CSV file it's looking for. And we go to next. And uh, this is the name of the file that's already predestinated. If it's not there in yours, look for the file that you named uh, appropriately for this. And then we just go to the next move. Uh, we want to put this in our October 2017. Double check with this here. And it says October 2017 and select next. What I like to do is triple check my custom fields. The custom fields are the headers that I mentioned at the beginning, start date, time, end date, location, category, subject, description. Now they're not in order here, but you want to double check them on this side. Okay. So as you can see over here, this is our uh, CSV file and over here is what this should be looking for over on the Outlook side. So we see here subject to subject, start date to start date, start time to start time, end time to end time. And then we see our final two here. So everything is checking out. And now we select finish. The files are now importing. Voila, there you go. If you want to see how our whole month is looking, you just highlight that. And that's how everything looks. So because the church already knows what these dates are, we're just going to click this off and send just this calendar to our good folks over at the church. So what we're going to do is email the calendar. Now you'll notice when we email that calendar, look at how this populates after we select full detail. You'll see that another row opens up with a uh, field marked attached and it has created an ICS file. This ICS file is created by Outlook and it can be used in any kind of device, whether it be a Droid or an iPhone. This is the file that you want to save. So you right click on that. You save it as the same name that it is. And I put it right on my desktop. And the reason why we save this is because again, we don't want to disrupt what's already going on. We'll replace it. We don't want to disrupt what's already going on with these monthly uh, email blasts that are going out. Meaning we want to keep, um, we want to keep the look, the feel, uh, and the aesthetic of this email. But all we want to do is add maybe 
uh, a line here or even a section where people can download the ICS file and attach this file to it so that folks can just click on it and it goes directly into their device. Okay. So because I'm a test maniac, what will happen is I'll send this to myself so that I can see how this actually shows up on my phone. And to distinguish this from any other, I'll say YouTube Prezi so that I know it coincides with what we're doing here. Now, if we weren't uh, using a get response, if you don't have uh, an email uh, carrier of your own with your organization, you can use Outlooks in the meantime until you get to a place where you can start putting out uh, emails with this service. This is just as good. Uh, it's just not as graphics heavy. Uh, it's just data driven. So it'll show you where you need to be, what the times are. Uh, and uh, if you go further, it'll give you detail as far as what the description of the events are. Okay. So once you're here, you send it. I'll show you what it looks like on my mobile device. And then we can come to the final analysis that once that uh, file is clicked on, it'll go directly into our folder and our folder will look like this. One of the benefits, if you will, of having calendars set up like this is just in case there's something that goes on, anything on the calendar. Let's say, for example, uh, yesterday, we go right here and you open just this one, not the entire series. So you'll open this and we had a cancellation. So what will happen is you'll go into uh, that particular event. It'll open up and then mark it, will mark it canceled. Now, if this has gone out to anyone before, what will happen is if you save it and you close it, a note will come up that will ask you, do you want to send this to all of your email list? And of course you want to say yes. That's the way you can do this without having to go through uh, the get response system because it's already in your outlook and it's already been sent this way. So whoever has that ICS file that you sent, it'll automatically up, update that information, let them know in real time, and then that's done with. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to look up my email and we'll see at the very top that our presentation has just come through. So we're going to load more. And as you can see, my bar is on like negative zero. <laughs> but here is the calendar. All right. As such. Now we are looking for that attachment. Here we go. So we got to go in here and I'm looking for that CSV file. There we see, I'm sorry, the ICS file. So um, what I want to do is preview it. And when I preview it, it should be the same thing. So that's how this looks. Now, see how simple this is? I want to import this into my calendar. All I have to do is press that button and now it's in my calendar. How do I know? Because I trust and believe. <laughs> so let me go to the calendar and let me look up do, 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 the month. And as you can see here, it's kind of tight, but this is everything that's here. Let me put it on the agenda rather. All right, then you can see it better. Fire Friday, Worship Wednesday. I think that's canceled, but I didn't update that. But we're looking at all of October's new stuff. 51st anniversary, bop, 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 bop. So there we go. So um, I do have a catch-all account as well. So let's look at that one to see dude, how it looks in a plain old Gmail account. Okay, this is not what I was looking for. Okay. So this is the same email, but on a different uh, email platform. And if you can see, it says October 6th. 
So what this is doing is giving me the option to just select the most recent event, which is going to be uh, tomorrow. This, I believe, is going directly to my Google Calendar. Oh, no, it's going to mine. I don't want to say that. Uh, but I do want to show you all of that this is what the file looks like, the ICS. This is the file that needs to be picked up and put somewhere into uh, your email blast so that people have the opportunity to download this, bam, and put it into their system. Easy peasy, one, two, three, easy. It's gonna take a while in order to uh, get used to the process, but it's way easier. Um, for a lot of people to get this stuff done. So thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Let's stay in touch. Follow us across social media at ECM Groups. Also, subscribe to this channel so that whenever we upload new information, you'll be among the first to know. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.